All right, so Maryland Governor Wes Moore just gave a briefing within the last hour over the Baltimore bridge collapse. So the weather has put a hold on attempts to get debris out of the water, but there are preps underway to try to take the some of the cargo containers off the damaged ship. At least eight commercial barges have so far cleared the temporary channels that they've carved out. Yeah, Governor Moore says there's no significant environmental contamination identified so far. Scott Broom is live in Dundalk where the governor has just finished his briefing. So what did we learn? Well, we're going to talk more about that environmental contamination, but first take a look over my shoulder. It's a weather alert day at WUSA 9, but it's also a weather alert day here uh, in the Baltimore Harbor off the Key Bridge. We've just had a uh, heavy shower move through and some pretty strong northwest winds. You can see the cranes out there. You can also see the containers on that ship that the Coast Guard just discussed uh, because the operations to lift bridge debris are on hold uh, because of this weather. Uh, it may come to pass that they'll have cranes in position to begin lifting cargo containers off that ship, which will be part of the operation sooner than later, or we may see it simultaneously. They just don't know. Meanwhile, we just discussed Governor Moore talking about environmental issues. Let me take you over to Riviera Beach. Some people call it Rivera. Uh, over in northern Anne Arundel County. It's about two or three miles down the Patapsco River near the mouth of Chesapeake Bay, and that's where folks there are seeing debris they believe has come from the ship or the bridge or maybe the pilings around the bridge. There has been some concern about environmental contamination there. State authorities have responded to that area and had a careful look at it. They don't think there's anything serious, but they do want the public to report it when they see it. Here's some of what residents over there are talking about. It's unbelievable that it made it here that fast, but I'm expecting to see more. We don't know if there's chemicals, contaminants on it, so we're just leaving it there and letting the authorities take care of it, hopefully. Again, no significant environmental damage. Let me also take you uh, to makeshift memorials that have appeared on both sides of the Patapsco River over on the Hawkins Point side. Uh, a memorial to the workers, which includes hard hats and construction vests and flags from the countries they immigrated from, has appeared, and along with a mural, and it's become a gathering spot for folks. Same thing on this side, uh, which is in Dundalk, uh, Maryland, uh, right on the Baltimore city line. Uh, lots of people turning out to uh, give their remembrances to the men, the construction workers who died. Part of the recovery operations will include attempting to recover and find the four bodies that are still missing in the water. That is complicating matters. Again, a weather hold on the major lift operations, but uh, the divers have been in the water. They're surveying more, they're creating their plans, and they may be lifting containers off the ship as well as soon as this rough weather clears, perhaps beginning tomorrow. Reporting live at the Key Bridge, Scott Broom. WUSA 9. Hey, thanks at the end for that reminder, Scott, about why this mission is so important, not just opening up this area for commerce, but remembering those brave souls who died on that day, souls that we are still waiting to find after all this time. Thank you.